Mind Matters with a short, quick video on something that I believe is extremely important in the reading world. So I hope this gets shared. Uh, let's get right to it. I like to keep these short. Basically, in the reading world, in the testing and evaluation world, in the world of schools and clinics, we give non-word reading to test for certain types of dyslexia. We presume if you can't read a non-word or non-words, you have some form of phonological dyslexia, meaning problems with the decoding process, problems sounding the word out. I'm here to say you can have perfect phonology, you can um, have great language skills, excellent language skills, but have a difficult time reading non-words, not due to a phonological deficit per se, but due to a deficit in vision, a deficit in visual attention. Uh, it can be acquired and or developmental in children, but basically there's a tendency to over to the right parts of words, which impacts their ability to read non-words because non-words have to be read left to right in a piecemeal fashion so you can apply the sounding out rules. That's how it goes. We know this from science that that's how it goes. And so when non-word reading fails, sometimes it's due to a deficit in phonology, and sometimes it's actually due to a deficit of visual attention where they are not automatically going to the left to read those words. So we need to um, implement very different treatment programs for kids who are not reading, or, and, or adults not reading non-words properly. It does not imply a deficit of phonology. It does not necessarily imply phonological dyslexia. It could actually imply a deficit of visual attention. I'm gonna give you a quick example here just to explain. Stroke patients, when they get a stroke in the right hemisphere, they will neglect the left parts of words. If you give them fake words like uh, bleaner, they will say cleaner. They are not attending to the left parts of words because the right hemisphere is not allowing attendance to the left very well, but the left hemisphere is still allowing attendance to the right side of space well. So when this applies to when they're reading words or looking at space or looking at their plate, whatever they're looking at at the time, they're going to neglect the left part of that thing, even down to a single letter. If they're looking, focusing on the letter at the time, they will neglect the left part of that letter. This applies to children too. Children over attend to the right and or the left um, for, for similar types of reasons, but due to brain development and tendencies from brain development as opposed to brain damage per se. And there are things we can do to rectify uh, poor reading that has a basis in visual attention. So um, I'm gonna try and keep it short. Let's leave it at that. If you have any questions, uh, please email me, uh, reach out uh, on my website, give me a call, we'll talk about it. Let's spread this around, let people know uh, that if you're evaluating children, you want to do a full neuropsychological evaluation to look at both language skills, nonverbal skills, and also look at their reading errors. What kinds of reading errors are they? Are they chopping the ends off of the words? Are they flipping the letters around? What do they really look like? And if they have this propensity for poor non-word reading, really look at those errors, their neuropsychological profile as a whole to decide, is this a deficit of phonology or is this a deficit of visual attention? I'm Lori Sustik. Mind matters. See you next time. Bye.